Hello and welcome to AT's Success Mantra. In the series of career options that we have been discussing about, today we are going to discuss engineering. So all the PCM students that are watching this video, uh, whether you are going to appear uh, this year uh, in your IIT or competitive exams for engineering or you will be appearing in the coming years for these kind of examinations, must watch what we are about to tell you. First of all, engineering is a very good option, very, very, very good option, very viable option, easy jobs available and moreover, the jobs are well paid. They are they're really good. If you get into companies like TCS, Wipro, uh, SCL, Facebook, Google, there are so many companies that are working in this sector and they all are paying a good amount of money for the engineers they are hiring. Moreover, the number of jobs are a lot. There is huge amount of jobs in engineering sector. That's why every year you hear that uh, there are so many engineers that are passing out and most of them are getting placed somewhere or the other. But there's a difference. Most of them are getting placed, that's right. But are they all getting the same amount of package? Or they are all of them are becoming successful engineers? I guess not. That is the reason why there are jokes on engineers. That if you are uh, just roaming here and there like a Vela, that means you are an engineer, right? Well, I am also an engineer and let me tell you that engineering can be a very fruitful career if certain things are kept in mind. And those things you must keep in mind before joining an engineering college. First, you need to make sure which trade you want to get in. There are there are so many people around me that have this kind of a problem uh, where they want to become something else. They wanted some other trade but they landed into something else. Like they want to become software engineer, they are good with computers, their computer skills are exceptional. But they are doing civil engineering. Why? It's because someone suggested that there are good options in government jobs where you can get into um, good uh, you know, public sector by using those uh, civil, by using that civil degree and that's why they are into civil. There are so many people who are good with civil or you can say who have that kind of intellect whose uh, math mechanics is very strong and they are doing computer science. Is why? Because someone said that you get good jobs, you get good environment, you get high paid jobs and uh, the companies like TCS, Facebook, they are all IT companies so you will be able to get into that. So this now, that person who has the skills to become a civil engineer is trying to become a software engineer. And the person who has the skills to become a software engineer is trying to become a civil engineer for whatever the reasons they have. Will they be successful? I don't think so. This is the biggest problem in these engineering area that we have right now. People are not sure what they should take, what branch you should take in engineering. So, first of all, let me tell you that there are many branches available. Many, many branches available. If you start counting, there are so many branches that you will forget count. But not all the colleges offer all the branches available because uh, then they need a lot of infrastructure which uh, probably do, don't have. Apart from IITs and IITs and the other government colleges, good government colleges that you have. They offer all the branches and you can join them and uh, you can be very successful, you know that very well. So how to select the branch? Now there is a, a, you can divide the branches into three different categories. One in which there is all about electronics, electrical, so that category is different. One which is all about IT sector, computers, software, hardware, programming, that sector is different. And one which are the core jobs, you can say the big jobs uh, or like heavy jobs uh, like of a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer where you need to know about motorbikes and uh, aeroplanes, how they fly, what uh, stuff they have, then about building materials, construction, that sector is different. So these three sectors that you have and another sector you can name of uh, you know common uh, branches, lot of different different branches are available which are new and which are uh, getting fame slowly and steadily but major branches are these three. Now just need to look into yourself and find out that which class did you study best. 
for the CBSC students or ICC, whatever you, uh, whatever board you are studying in, whether you were good with class 11 physics, I mean, I'm talking about force, motion, rotation, then uh, capillary action and all those fluid mechanics, whatever subjects you study in class uh, 11 physics, whatever topics that you have. Or are you good with class 12 physics, which contains electricity, el current electricity, electrostatic, generator, motor, then diodes, then these kind of things. So if you are good with mechanics, if you have interest in mechanics, if you like to understand force, if you like to work on numericals using force, motion and rotation and all kind of stuff, then mechanical, civil, automobile industry, these all are an option for you. Perfect. You are perfect for this. Because if you take mechanical branch, the subjects that you have to study are all related to heat, um, uh, body design, you know, how to machine design and all kind of subjects that you have over there. Fluid mechanics, uh, stone, tone, that you will know when you get into engineering. But all these subjects need very good analytical skills of the topics I am telling you about. Force, motion and uh, all other things. If you want to get into electrical part, electrical part if your 12th mathematical, 12th physics is very strong then you should go with electrical engineering, electronics engineering, electric, electronics and instrumentation engineering. These fields will be very good for you if you have interest in these, these subjects or these topics. Why? Because the subjects that you study are transformers, generators, uh, AC, DC, these kind of subjects that you have to study in electric, electrical, say electronics or these kind of branches. If you are good with diodes, the chapters that you have studied in your uh, class 12, semiconductors, if you are good with that and if you have very good interest or you can say you want to, you wanted to know more about a diode, how it works, transistor, communication channel, how it works, if you wanted to know about all this, then EC is the field for you. Go with electronics and communication engineering or you can go with electronics and instrumentation engineering. Or you can even go with electrical and electronics engineering. But if you are good with programming, if you had a very good command over your programming, your SQL and your logics and everything and you didn't even need to prepare too much computers and you always scored 80, 85, 90 in your class 11, 12 I am talking about, not before 10. Because this, uh, for CBC students, the computer science which they study before 10 is very easy. I mean, there is very less syllabus in that sector. But if you are good in 11, 12 computers, where you get C++ or Java, then you can definitely go for CS and IT sector. You will be really successful. Now, these were the things you need to take care of before selecting a branch. And before doing engineering, what you need to take care is that whether you have strong mathematics or not, whether you are able to do hard work or not, can you survive those four years or not? Because those four years will be a nightmare if you don't have the strength and the stamina to face it. Trust me. Because uh, no matter how it looks from the outside, oh wow, it's, it's gonna be a fairy tale, we'll go out on um, so many trips and roam here and there freely, no classes to do, no subjects to study and all that stuff. So many people would have suggested you and so many the seniors that you would have seen uh, would be doing all that. But you know what, at the end when you'll go for placements and you will want a job, those days, those days which you uh, went somewhere, which you were roaming out or which you were enjoying in your trips, that will come to haunt you. Because the people who involve themselves into all this, they actually start losing marks. They start getting backs in their examinations. They start failing their papers. But the system is there that uh, will get you through all that. But they will lose knowledge more importantly. And for a job, you will, you will definitely need knowledge. So, all about the branches that we have. Now, one thing, which college to select. First, you get to the branch, you make up your mind what branch you want to study. Uh, electrical, electronics, instrumentation, whatever I told you. 
just go through a website search it you will find what kind of branches do you have and then you will move accordingly don't come into someone else's suggestion that nahi nahi bhai ye kar le and you will do good no not at all don't listen to those people just look into yourself and try to find out what suits you the best and where you can be more successful and where you cannot it's easy to do just try and do it all right if you want to compare it just look at your marks that whether you got good marks in 12th or you got good marks in 11th that will also give you the difference or a clear picture what to do now one thing uh, a personal suggestion from my side if you have weak mathematics if you uh, are afraid of physics please don't go for engineering please just avoid engineering there are so many other options that you can take there are so many other careers available you don't need to waste your four years or 6 to 7 lakh rupees in engineering instead you can get into some other careers which can give you more return or you can say a successful career but engineering will not give you that because you didn't have interest in physics and you lack uh, you know practice in mathematics so please avoid the students who have weak mathematics or they are afraid of doing maths or afraid of doing physics or solving questions please avoid this avoid engineering try and get something else now about selecting colleges how to choose a college now uh, there is no doubt that everyone wants to get into iit or if not iit then at least an it right but is it possible that everyone of you will get through these colleges no it's very difficult not because the exam is difficult but there are limited seats there are only 150000 seats that can be provided to the engineering students who are appearing for iit or an iit and for those seats there are 7 to 8 lakh students who are applying for it and in iit you get only 20 25 or maybe 30000 seats and that's all there the problem is that seat availability is very low as compared to the number of students that are applying so you need to ultimately get into different other colleges uh, you can say private colleges or semi government colleges uh, for the, or universities uh, for taking this degree because you want it so desperately right engineering is the only thing that you need to do right because you are pcm students so if you want to do engineering you have made up your mind that okay fine i have to do engineering keep in mind that don't go into uh, any college you know whatever college calls you and gets you gets your number from somewhere and says okay please come to my college uh, our college is here and it has got all the facilities and you know we are giving a discount of this much please come to our college just take a visit and join don't fall into the traps the private colleges need money they want students first of all this for selecting a college you need to keep few things in mind you must not fall into the honey traps of the private colleges that are spread around you why i am saying this is because private colleges are just working for their monetary gains they have very less interest in making your career or giving a good education very less interest no matter what they portray but somewhere down the line their main interest is to earn money the government colleges are good they are providing a lot of placements because it's a government college the companies are also visiting uh, nicely lot of companies are visiting them the private colleges also there are lot of companies visiting but the quality is low there are so many colleges that do not even have lab facilities they don't even have a single lab imagine you are going to be an engineer without doing a single experiment without doing a simple you know if you want to be an electronics engineer you must at least know how to connect a transistor you must know how to connect it with a board or how to just run a simple alarm or something if you want to be an electronics engineer but they won't even have that facility or even if they have they won't allow you to go into labs it's just because they think that it's useless there is no point of it this is the reason why i personally feel that you guys should be very uh, clear in how to select your college don't fall into the honey trap as mentioned earlier and if you want to go to a private college just make sure that you study you study well if you have uh, like if you didn't make it through um, iits and iits and you are a desperate uh, engineer want to be an engineer desperately 
and you, you have to join a private college. You think that yes, you can do it from a private college itself. You can take placements on your own uh, basis, on your own guts. So most welcome, but you need to work hard, very hard. Because the students who are getting through these private colleges into companies or into uh, good companies, they all have worked really hard to get where they are today. And very few of them are able to get into these kind of colleges. So just don't look at the campus, how big the campus is. Just don't look at uh, whether the canteen is nice or not. Or whether um, the you know outside atmosphere is good, I mean, okay, fine, if I want to take a break, whether I'll be feeling happy or not? No. What you need to keep in mind, whether that college has qualified teachers or not, whether that college is giving you a good placement record or not, whether the college has got good lab facilities or not, and how can you get this? The college will not tell you itself, no way. Just try and take an insider. Try to find, research. Just find out how many students are available. Just go and check through one of those students that, uh, Sir, how the college is? Can you please tell me about this college? Whether the labs are not? They will give you the inside story. The exact inside story. And that's how you can know that what the college is. If I am a businessman and I want to sell my product, I will always say my product is the best. Now it's up to you to decide whether my product is best or not. But if you will just listen to me, you will never be able to make out that, okay, some other side of the story is also there. So you need to find people who know the inside of those colleges and then you need to make sure that you take the right college and because you have to spend four years in that college. And those four years are going to be a nightmare. You will not be able to survive, you will, you will feel suffocated in that college because the school life, you have been very energetic, you have scored good, you have enjoyed and you have really worked, you have you studied as well. But you get into a college where there is nothing of sorts, the teachers are coming from a very different kind of background, they, the language they are speaking, you are not able to understand what language they are speaking, is because the teachers are not even qualified to teach over there. And this is the truth of our engineering college that are running. So guys from my side, engineering is a very good option, you are most welcome to do engineering but keep these things in your mind, select the branch that you think you can take up and that you think that you can survive with that branch and the topics that you are studying through for the four years, select a college that will not only make you a good engineer or a, a good student but that can also make you a versatile student. There should be a lot of other activities going on just like the school does. That is also important. The co-curricular activities are also important part of your college life. That is also very 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 important to improve your personality. So that makes you a versatile person. That also gives you good placement. At least there must be companies that are visiting that college, not the job fairs that they conduct. There are so many colleges that show you that they have 70, they have 100 companies that visited their uh, campus, but actually they have not a single company they have that have visited their campus. It's just the job fair they conduct. The job fair is totally different from a uh, company visiting a college. It's totally different. So just make sure that whether that was a job fair or the actual data is being displayed to you. and. If you can try and take admissions into the top most colleges of India that are IITs and NITs or uh, a good private engineering colleges as well which are on the top and you will have a very successful engineering career. But if you fall into the traps of private colleges that have low facilities and uh, they are just working for money and they are just spread like a fungus all over the cities, almost all the developed cities they are spread like fungus. They just want you in, that's all. They don't care about what is happening. There are so many sub-teachers that are not available into these private colleges. The subjects are just like that, you just need to study on your own. There's not a single teacher for it. So my friends, just be aware of it and I hope that you have a very successful engineering life and a very successful engineering career. And uh, with that, uh, we would wish you all the best. And in our next videos, we will be discussing more about other options that you can explore. But for now, it's 
Sayonara from my side. Take care. Bye-bye.